Good morning, Hank. It's Friday, December 9th, 2016, the beginning of the 10th annual Project for Awesome. You can head over to projectforawesome.com now to watch the 48-hour live stream and to watch and vote for P4A videos, or head over to projectforawesome.com slash donate to donate and get great perks from socks to signed books. So during the first half of the Project for Awesome, we're raising money for Save the Children and Partners in Health, two of the most highly regarded and efficient nonprofits working in global health and education. I want to give you an idea of what they do, and given that this is the 10th Project for Awesome, I thought we could look at the difference 10 years can make. Like 10 years ago, the Rinwavu Hospital in Rwanda was extremely dilapidated and barely functioning. Today, it's a safe and sanitary hospital providing high quality care. 10 years ago, in Rwanda's Burera district, there were no hospitals at all. Today, they don't just have a hospital, they have a hospital with a cancer center and a neonatal intensive care unit. And Partners in Health led the drive to build and fund and staff both those hospitals. They also work around the world to train and employ community health workers like Mohammed from Sierra Leone and tens of thousands of people like him. I'm the most sophisticated, least expensive technology in Shiradu. And it's pretty astonishing just how effective this work has been. A decade ago, almost 13% of children in Sierra Leone died before the age of five. Today, it's under 9%. In Rwanda, life expectancy was 56 a decade ago. Today, it's 64. And there are similar stories around the world. In the last 10 years, the global absolute poverty rate has fallen by more than half. In 2006, 18% of the world's children were underweight because of malnutrition. Today, it's down to 14%. And worldwide, 4 million fewer children died last year than died in 2006. But there's a coldness to numbers, right? Like, it's hard to imagine the millions of parents who won't have to suffer the unbearable grief of losing a child. Or the tens of thousands of kids who wouldn't have mothers if not for the gains in maternal health in the last decade. When you hear, for instance, that Save the Children provides nutrition and healthcare and educational opportunities to millions of kids every year, that's not a picture. I think sometimes statistics can almost be a barrier to empathy rather than a path to it, so let's look at one family. Save the Children is very active in the ongoing South Sudanese refugee crisis, providing education and safe spaces for children, and also trying to reunite families who've been torn apart by war. This woman, Grace, was separated from her two daughters during an attack in her community, and she hadn't seen her kids in two years. In fact, she didn't even know if they'd survived. Save the Children caseworkers were able to connect Grace to her two daughters through a database of missing kids and reunite the family. This moment didn't end the war or end the refugee crisis, but for this one family, it meant everything. Whether reuniting families or saving lives through healthcare and nutrition, these little successes are not little when they're yours. Of course, the scope of the challenge before us remains overwhelming, as Mohammed put it. There is no easy solution to the world suffering. But our support for Save the Children and Partners in Health enables them to hire more community health workers, build more hospitals and schools, and reunite more families. And maybe a decade from now, we'll be able to look back and see how those little successes were part of a much larger one. For the first half of the Project for Awesome, every dollar donated up to $300,000 will be matched to $4, so you can have a huge impact right now at projectforawesome.com slash donate. And also, you can get great perks. There's everything from tote bags to commemorative pressed pennies to the first new writing I've released in several years. During the second half of the Project for Awesome, we'll be raising money for charities chosen by you via your votes at projectforawesome.com. So head over there to watch and vote. Thank you. Happy Project for Awesome, DFDBA. Hank, I will see you in the live stream.